there, my name is Danita Rose and I'd like to welcome you to this video blog. In this 12 part series I will be presenting a Filipino dish each time that is very close to my heart. And since Halloween is just around the corner, while the rest of the world is thinking of jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkin bread or pumpkin spice lattes, us Filipinos are thinking pak bit. So I know what you're thinking, you're like, pak what? Who's but? What? <laughs> well, it's actually pinak but, or for short, we say pak but. And this is a vegetable dish that is very, very delicious if you are adventurous and willing to give it a try. Pinak but, or pak but, is an Ilocano word from the Ilocos region in the northern part of the Philippines, meaning shrunk or shriveled. It is a vegetable based soup, usually cooked until almost dry and shriveled, and served with steamed rice. It has squash or pumpkin, okra, bitter melon, green beans or snake beans, eggplant, tomatoes, onions, and garlic. So the main ingredient for pinakbet is called bagoong. Bagoong is a fermented fish or shrimp. In this case, I'm going to be using the fermented fish version for my pinakbet, okay? Now, let me just say that it smells very funky because obviously it's fermented fish, right? It's uh, got a very salty taste to it, so if you have high blood pressure, you don't want to put too much of this in your dish. And uh, that goes to you as well, Mom, because this is in my mom's veins. Yes, this is the stuff that flows through my mom's veins because this is my mom's absolute favorite dish. So let's get started with our pork. I got some uh, pork belly, or uh, liempo, and then I parboiled it for about an hour to an hour and a half. You don't have to cook it that long. Uh, but then after that, I drained all the water out of it, had it dry, and then I sliced it into little bits so that when I put it in there, it's gonna be super crispy. So I'm using, of course, Jolly Heart Made Canola Oil, which is the lowest in the bad fat or saturated fat, and it's very high in the good fat. And it's enriched with omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids and vitamin K. So I'm going to be adding some of this oil to the pan to saute this shrimp. We're just going to cook it until it's turning color, like a pinkish color. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper before I remove it. Now the juices that are left inside the pan, you don't want to get rid of that because that's flavor. We're going to add a little bit more oil. And now we are going to saute our vegetables. I will start with the onions. I didn't mince the garlic because then it'll cook too fast and get brown. And that's when it'll become a little bit bitter and I don't want that. So, we can add that right away. Then we add our tomatoes. Okay, after sauteing the garlic, onions, and tomatoes, we add the green beans first because this is going to take the longest to cook. I like to add a little bit of pepper and build up my flavor as we go. Pumpkin or squash. It's all in the same family, so. We're gonna add our eggplant. Okay, so we let that sit for about three minutes and now we are going to add our bitter melon or ampalaya. Squeeze out some of the juice if you can. Okay, so like I said, the bagoong is the main ingredient. You can either use the shrimp paste, which is a bit saltier than this one because it's thicker. And in this case, I'm gonna be using the fish one. So I put about half a cup. And then we add some water. I'd say maybe about one cup. Okay, so we're done. We're going to plate our vegetables. Then we add some shrimp to the top. And then the crispy pork. And don't laugh at me, okay? But for the finishing touch, we're gonna do this Cabot style. The way my daddy does it in Oklahoma, we're gonna add some cottage cheese on the side. <laughs> and so there you have it, our pinakbit or bakbit with crispy pork and shrimp.